Hello everyone and welcome to a quick top tip video for Jurassic World Evolution 2. For a while now, we have been finagling and doing all of these tricks, trying to get dinosaurs into the aviary by just, you know, squeezing the hatchery as close to the aviary walls as possible, and then just hoping that the animation of the exiting dinosaurs is lengthy enough that the dinosaurs will just clip through the aviary wall and then end up being inside. Now, this is a technique that has proven to be successful for like a number of species, but definitely not all of them. I have been introduced to a trick that works for every single dinosaur species, regardless of whatever their, their exit animation is. And for this, uh, for this top tip, I really want to thank a subscriber of the channel who commented this on my previous video. Uh, this is Elmer Bona, I think it's pronounced. Uh, they left a comment, yeah, on my re most recent video saying, hey, I have a trick to get any dinosaur species into the aviary. And not gonna lie, I was 99% sure that they were yanking my chain. But that 1%, that, that seed of doubt had me checking. And I was pleasantly surprised to see that it worked. I'm gonna show it in action for you first, and then I'm gonna show you how it's done. All of the steps to achieve this right here. And I wanna point out, this is completely unmodded. I am not using any mods, but this is indeed Brachiosaurus releasing into the aviary. No mods, no, no finagling with the hatcheries, the placement around the aviary, because obviously, we have a lovely angle here <laughs> because obviously that doesn't work with a slow animation like the Brachiosaurus. They would just stop in front of the aviary wall. But you can see right here that they sort of awkwardly emerge from the aviary hatchery. And just like that, they are in the aviary. And with this technique, you can make so many cool indoor enclosures. And I feel pretty confident that that's going to be just my next park build. <laughs> and it's so awesome to me that this is without mods. You can do this on console or on PC if you don't want to use mods. And I, th I feel like that's just a great thing about it. That is really excellent discovery. Again, all credit goes to Elmer Bona, who has shared this with me in the comments. Really, thank you so, so much. And I'm sorry for doubting you. I'm sorry very much. Okay, so here are the steps for achieving this. So first off, build what I have built right here. So you build an aviary with an aviary hatchery and you build a regular hatchery. And of course, you also need uh, a park arrival for these things to function. Then the first step is you're going to go into the aviary hatchery. You're going to synthesize a dinosaur. And indeed, we will be synthesizing a dinosaur. You go to filters and you select new. I already had it selected because I already did this. <laughs> I tested it. <laughs> but here you go. We have new selected. We're going to leave. We're going to go over here. You see the Brachiosaurus that was uh, emerging from the other hatchery. Let's pick a dinosaur, any dinosaur. Let's do the Giga. We're gonna actually modify it to uh, to make it the Dominion Giga. There you go, we're gonna begin task. And we're gonna move back over to this aviary hatchery. We're gonna synthesize dinosaur. And you can see right here, begin task. Giganotosaurus, begin task. And right here, the Giganotosaurus is being synthesized inside the aviary hatchery as well as the regular hatchery. So you're actually creating two dinosaurs at once. We're gonna leave him over there. What you can just do is cancel these eggs afterwards, after the process is done. We're gonna go right here. We're gonna select the eggs. There you go. We're gonna incubate both of them. We're gonna speed this process up a little bit. Look at our Brachiosaurus in here, living, living their best life, you know, protected from the cold. And yeah, it's so, so cool that you can just make this an entirely different biome. For example, you know, this is uh, these these brachiosaurs like like cold. They've evolved from liking trees to liking cold. Now we're gonna here you go. Just go to this aviary hatchery release, and there they sort of awkwardly come out of the aviary hatchery. <laughs> 
Again, camera angle is not optimal, but the result definitely is. Unfortunately, there's no sound of dinosaurs inside the, the aviary, but that is, I think, a small price to pay. So right here, we still have new selected. So that was our first step. And let's go over here. We can just discard all of these eggs because we've created them in the other hatchery. And, um, well, what do we want to do now? Maybe we want a Therizinosaurus. Sure. Begin task. You do all of that inside this hatchery. Then you go over here. Synthesize. Right here, you don't have to do anything. Just begin task. And she is on her way. Just like that, ready for incubation. Select. All right, Therizinosaurus, done. Release. <laughs> yeah. yeah, shame about the lack of sound, but again, the results cannot be argued with. So I want to again take a moment to thank Elmer Bona for commenting this on my previous video. So, so, so happy about this. Can't stress this enough, this is without mods, it's just an exploit in the game. It's basically a glitch in the game. So with that being said, you might... Like, we have to get started on this part build right away, because I don't know when Frontier is going to patch this out. Probably during the next update, so we need to build fast, people. Build fast. I'm going to show you one more time, just so, uh, just so you know. So there you go, we're going to remove all that. So you've just arrived, you've just arrived in your park. Select Synthesize Dinosaur. Filter New, so this is entirely empty. Exit. Go to the regular hatchery, select whatever dinosaur you want. You synthesize it right here, then you go over here. Synthesize, it's right here, begin task. There comes the Scorpius Rex. You're gonna select the eggs, you're gonna incubate it. Give it some speed. Just wait a little bit. And presto, release. You have now the Scorpius Rex <laughs> sliding into, <laughs> like, just below our viewpoint, but sliding into the aviary. Now, here's the question, right? Does it work in reverse? So, let's get rid of this thing. Uh, yes. And we're gonna go into hatchery, and we're gonna select new. We're just gonna leave it. And then we're gonna go into here, we're gonna go into here, we're gonna synthesize the cats. Begin. We're gonna go back over here, synthesize. Yes, here it is, Quetzalcoatlus. Begin. Now this would be interesting because normally what you have to do if you want your pterosaurs free roaming through your park or your nature reserve, you have to release them into an aviary and then basically just wait forever for them to finally decide to escape. I say finally it works quicker for some species than for others. <laughs> but let's see if this... I mean it should, it's working so far. And then you can just release them from a normal hatchery and straight away without the fuss of having to have them break out, you can have them free roaming through your, your perks. That would be super cool and also a really cool application of this exploit. So here we go. Our cats is uh, taking a little bit, but here she comes. Curious to see what this will look like. Release. Oh, promising, promising. Here she comes. And there she is. Oh my god, that is excellent. So yeah. There you have it. You can instantly release your flying reptiles into your parks. Really cool. And just because I know people will ask, yes, it also works with the marine reptiles using the exact same method, only they just stop moving as soon as they finish their release animation. So they're just perpetually stuck in this place. Not sure what you can do with that, but at least you... Well, you know, and you can use this power responsibly, I hope. So that is really, really awesome. I can't wait to use this trick to build an awesome 
biodome park this way without any mods. I feel like, you know, obviously it's just a glitch, but it's... I think it's the coolest glitch we have in the game. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you will enjoy making a park using this trick. Give the video a like and of course subscribe to see what kinds of parks I will be building using this trick. Thank you so, so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and until next time, enjoy the game.